In this video, I will show you how to use a cool and free AI tool to clone your voice or someone else's voice. Just provide some sample of the voice you want to clone and the tool will take care of the rest. I will walk you through the process step by step showing you how to obtain the best training data. Watch the video till the end for all the tips and tricks. So let's get started. We are going to use this open source tool called Tortoise Text to Speech. The code is available on GitHub free of cost and you can run this on your own machine. The installation instructions are provided in the repo but we are going to use Google Colab to run the code in the cloud. The author of this repo has removed the original notebook of Google Colab but some good people on the internet have made it available. So we are going to use that one but if you want the best results it's better to install it locally and the installation instructions are pretty straightforward. So all you need to do is click on the link in the description below that I have provided the notebook link in the description. Now how you can add a new voice and how you can clone it. So here are the instructions that you need. First you need to gather audio clips of the speaker that you want to clone the voice. In my case I am going to use my own voice and I will show you a software with the help of which you can record voice segments. The audio clip should be of 6 to 10 seconds in duration and you need to gather at least 3 segments. But if you want quality, it's always good to include more data points. You need to store the audio files in .wave format and the sample rate should be of 22 kilohertz. And then it like if you are running it locally, then you need to create a subdirectory and directory uh, that I mentioned here in which you need to put your data. But we are doing it on cloud so some of the steps are going to be little different. Now with the recording we need to collect some data. So for audio recording I am using this free tool called Audacity. I am going to put a link in the description of this video. It's a very powerful audio processing tool but we are going to use just the basic functionality of it. Now in order to record your audio first you need to select the project sampling rate that is mentioned in the instructions of this repo. And according to the instruction, it this should be 22 kilohertz. After that, you need to select the recording device. Just click on the audio setup button and go to the recording device and select your microphone. In my case, I'm using Railtech audio and I have selected this. Next, in order to record an audio segment, all you have to do is to click on the record button and then it starts recording your voice. So in this case, it is recording and you can see um, that how many seconds of audio you have recorded. So let's say I will go up to around 19 seconds and then you can simply cut your clip by selecting a part of it and hit the backspace or delete button to shorten it. You can also play your recorded sample by, clicking, uh, by clicking on the um, play button. Now in order to export it, go to file section in the export and then click on the export as wave button. So here I have a directory where I'm going to store this as audio. I have recorded about five different voice segments. Now let's look at some instruction that you need to follow before recording any of the audio clips. The quality of the clone clip is going to be dependent on your input. So the authors have provided the guidelines to follow. For example, uh, they are saying that audio clips with the background music noise or reverb, these clips were removed from the training dataset. Similarly, a word speech is, um, these generally have distortion caused by amplification systems. So you need to also avoid the clips that are from phone calls and the clips that are have, that have excessive stuttering or stammering words. So you want to avoid these when you are going to provide the data set as an input. You want to keep in mind what your output should sound like. Uh, for example, if you want to hear your target voice reading an audiobook, Try to find the clips of reading a book and it doesn't matter what you are saying in the clips. You uh, just want to have a diverse text so that the model can learn from it. So this is the notebook that we are going to be running. I would recommend you guys to go and make a copy of it. Uh, so let's say it's going to create a copy and we are going to be running the copies. So you don't want to share your data with the author of the notebook, right? Uh, first step is just to go to the runtime. Make sure the runtime is GPU. So that's uh, like uh, there are some other options, but you want to select GPU. Save it and click connect. It's going to be very simple process. All you have to do is to run a few cells. You don't need to know what code is running here. So once it's connected, uh, go to the first cell and click on the play button. to run the code and install some libraries that are needed for the running the model. Uh, just wait for it to complete. Once the execution of the cell is completed, uh, you will see this 
print tick sign uh, so let's go down and execute the second cell uh, so simply click the play button and this cell download the model files from the repo uh, you need to wait a little bit here with the progress uh, okay so uh, this took around three minutes in my case let's execute the next cell this cell contains the text input we want to our cloned sound supposed to say like so i just put uh, some text i left the preset as fast which is the default one you can see the other options too like ultra fast standard and high quality run this cell and then the next one uh, when we run this cell it will ask us to choose um, the files that we have recorded let me upload all the files so that uh, you have to do all you have to do is select all of them and click open and it will start uploading the file the files one by one uh, so all the files are uploaded here uh, now I'm going to run the final cell. So this is where I will, it will generate the audio and then you will see uh, something like, so the results are uh, ready and let's see how it, uh, it will sound like. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button if you have learned something. Don't forget to subscribe. I think there is some resemblance, but the accent is totally different. Instead of uh, fast, uh, you can also try the high quality. Let's uh, change the preset to high quality in the previous cell. And run this cell again. Uh, let's see if it has any impact on the quality of the output of the sound. Let's play that uh, again. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button if you have learned something and don't forget to subscribe. I think there are some quality issues and uh, uh, there's maybe a little bit of resemblance, but keep in mind uh, that I only provided uh, five samples of the audio clips and uh, I have recorded uh, the recorded voice is not much of a great quality audio so make sure uh, the audio samples that you provide uh, they are good in quality in the repo instructions uh, like we, we can also provide some prompts uh, to control our tone this is uh, the great feature here um, is that you can actually control the tone of the voice so for example if you want to set a tone of the voice uh, you need to put like something I'm really sad in the brackets and then it will speak the same thing but in the sad tone so uh, you can do the same for like happier tone for somebody is enthusiastic so uh, you will simply put I am very enthusiastic I hope you found this video useful uh, please comment and share your thoughts and don't forget to like the video it will help you with the algorithm thanks for watching and see you in the next one